Hey guys, welcome back to my Meltech. Today, we're going to be talking about an Asus Tough um, RX um, 3060. Um, I had picked one of these up on launch day. I was lucky enough to get one. Um, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about whether it's an upgrade for me, um, and what it can possibly be an upgrade for you. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into the specs, but like I said, we're going to unbox it, we're going to hook it up, we're going to compare it to a, a, a 2060. Um, the current card that I have is a 2060 um, EVGA um, XC. It's one of the short stubby card. Um, so I put that in my wife's computer. Um, but prior to that, I'd done some uh, random benchmarks with, um, um, oh, oh, geez, with a 3D Mark, um, the, uh, the Time Spy. So we'll run the same benchmarks with this. We'll see how they do. And we'll just kind of discuss, you know, do you think this is something you need to run out and get? All right, well, let's go. All right, so here we go. Here's our box. Um, I'm not gonna get into a lot of the specs on this. They're relatively available online. And, you know, one of the things I see with a lot of the tech YouTubers is they kinda, you know, if you got normal people, when I say normal people who are just like getting this for the first time, like, they're like, oh, I got this has got a bajillion CUDA cores and it's got this and that, and it's like, you know what, I know when I first started doing this stuff, that was all mumbo jumbo to me. And, you know, I don't wanna confuse people, but I'm just gonna take this card and be like, hey, this is one of the lower end offerings from the NVIDIA side. And, um, you know, let's take a look at it and, and see if it's gonna be something that's useful to people. I wanna get down to the meat and potatoes of it. So here we are. And here's the inner box, it's got the nice, you know, I guess you'd say embossed the Asus, you know, in search of incredible, blah, blah, blah. So, got some nice foam packaging. And this is actually a pretty decent sized card. We'll set that aside for right now. Let's see what's in the box. So, we got uh, the speed set up. We got, this looks like a, uh, looks like it's a, a trading card. You know, it says like tough gaming, gaming cards, hefty in 3D, you know. It's pretty, pretty interesting. You know. Um, something in Spanish. Certificate of reliability. Um, some of the tough products they all come with this. I've, I've kind of dug it. Then of course they got their their thank you card. You know, thank you for purchasing this, an ASUS product. So all right, let's get all this stuff aside here. Get down to looking at this card. This is gonna be a real quick and dirty video because you know literally I'm gonna show you this stuff. I'm gonna pop it in. We're gonna run the benchmark. But like I said, it's uh, still kind of fun. Oh yeah, this is, this is a beefy boy. Very beefy boy. So, you know, a lot like the, um, those original S looking cards that Nvidia came out with, I guess you'd call them reference cards. You know, this seems like it has, um, cut out here where it blows out. Um, it doesn't look like it's got the same type of style that those cards have where it kind of floated through and blew out, but it does have a cutout where it blows out the back end. That's kind of interesting. Um, I like the minimalist, you know, black with it. Um, you know, black and gray and with the offset white, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's gonna look really good in my rig. Um, what else we got? This is really, I don't know if you can see that in there real well, but this is a beefy boy. You know, it's uh yeah, it's got nice nice radiator. Yeah. Looks like it's a two slot. The other one I had was a three slot. Um we have three fans. They talk about how these spin different directions. The middle one spins a different direction than the other ones. Um I thought that was interesting. It looks like it might have some some um, some lighting that happens here. 
We'll have to check that out once we get inside the box. Um, this has only got an 8 pin. Um, I know some of the cards we've seen so far have had like two 8 pins. Uh, this has got one 8 pin. So, you know, we'll, we'll check that out. Um, like I said, overall, let's, uh, let's do get to the peel. You know, the sexy peel that everybody's into. And then we'll get this card in there. And uh, go from there. So, cards in there, did some uh, bench testing around Time Spy. Um, I did it with the G-Sync on, um, and I'm going to show you the comparison to when I ran G-Sync with the 2060 versus the 3060. And, you know, it's about a jump when you look at about a, th a thousand points. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Um, and except right now there's no, I haven't overclocked anything. Um, I just put the card in as it came. I know it says OC, but I mean, I'm sure there's room to do some more with the card. I have to get in there and play around. I also didn't overclock the system at all. Um, you know, I'll be doing that in the next week or so. Once I'm satisfied with all the software and make sure I got everything updated, I kind of, personally, I like to do that kind of stuff first. But, um, but this card is uh, pretty cool. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. As far as, is it an upgrade? Um, you know, if I look at it, I'm looking at, you know, maybe a 10 frame average increase in FPS, depending on what I do right now with it being stock. Um, it did that justify me running out and buying this card at launch? Mm, probably not. Um, do I regret it? No. Um, you know, it's kind of cool to be able to say, hey, I have a, a, 30, a 30 series card. I wish it was a 3080. Or 3090. 3090 is a pipe dream, but 3080 is my target card. Um, but for right now, I'm happy. And for the next year until I get a new card, you know, this is, I'm, I'm tickled pink. Um, so, like I said, leave some comments below. Um, hope you guys like the video and, and, you know, hope you enjoy this, uh, this, this peek at this card. Have a great day.